In today's video, we're going to go through the basic clinch mechanics in UFC 5. By the end of the video, you'll know how to get into all the different clinch positions, what strikes, takedowns and trips you can use in these positions, and also how you can defend against all this. I'm going to be referring to PlayStation controls because that's the console I play on, but there's going to be graphics on screen for both PlayStation and Xbox. So firstly, the way to get into the basic single collar clinch is by pressing square and X in orthodox or triangle and circle when you're in South Pole. You have to be at really close range for this to work, so if you're trying to stop someone from putting you in the clinch, stay at range or use head movement to avoid the animation altogether. And then when you're already in the clinch, whether you're the attacking or defending fighter, just use the left stick to walk away from your opponent to get out. When you've got your opponent in the clinch, you can press square or triangle to throw uppercuts. Hold L1 while pressing square or triangle for hooks. And for knees, press X or circle. You can hit the body with any of these strikes by holding L2 when you throw them, so a knee to the body for example will be L2 and either X or circle. Lastly, for elbows, hold L1 and then press square and X together. Most of these strikes are also available in the other clinch positions I'm about to show you, uh, so just go into the training arena and have a play around to see what's available. So now I'm going to show you how to transition into different clinch positions. The easiest transition is getting into the tie clinch. To do this, you need to get into the single collar clinch by pressing square and X like I showed you above. Then just throw any knee with the X or circle buttons and it will put you in the more dominant tie clinch position. And if for some reason you want to go back to the single collar clinch, just throw any punch with square or triangle. The next position is the over under clinch. For this, you need to go for the double leg takedown but cancel it before you actually take your opponent down. So to start the double leg, it's L2 triangle and circle in orthodox or L2 square and X in southpaw. And then as the animation starts, quickly press R2 to cancel the takedown and it's going to leave you an over under. Next I'll show you how to get into the back clinch and this one's a little bit tricky so it might take some practice. For this you need to start off in over under, so get in over under by cancelling a double leg like I showed you above. Once you're here you want to go for the double leg again but move the left stick forward for a second while you're doing it. So tap L2 triangle and circle and while you do that move the left stick towards your opponent. You can see here Makashev kind of taking a step forward while he's doing this. Like I said, this one's a bit weird and takes a bit of practice to get used to the timing, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. So I'd recommend practicing with a bot before trying it in online fights. The last position I wanted to show you is cage clinch. So when you're in any clinch, you can use the left stick to walk your opponent into the cage. And once you get there, it puts you in this position. You can throw all the strikes I showed you earlier. So uppercuts, hooks, knees, body shots. And it's also easier to transition to back clinch here. You just need to move the left stick either up or down, depending on which way your opponent's back is facing. So on the left, Volk's back is facing away from us. So I just flick the left stick up and now I'm in back clinch against the cage. And to show you what it looks like the other way, on the right, his back is facing us, so I flick the left stick down. On the defensive side, when your opponent has you against the cage, to get out, you need to hold the left stick either up or down. And again, this depends on which way you guys are facing. So you can see both options on screen here and which way you'll need to hold the left stick. Okay, so those are the different clinch positions you can enter. Now I want to talk about the different takedowns and trips you can do from the clinch. You can actually do regular single and double leg takedowns from most of these clinch positions and the controls are the same as they normally are. So that's L2 square and X for a single leg or L2 triangle and circle for a double leg. And these are, as always, the other way around if you're in southpaw. If you hold the takedown buttons, you can do the power variants where you pick your opponent up and slam them down. And then depending on what clinch position you do the takedown from, some of them are going to put you in different starting positions on the ground. So like if you hit a double leg takedown from over under, like I have here, it's going to put you straight in the backside position. Uh, I'd recommend using the training arena to have a play around with the takedowns in different clinch positions, just so you can see all the slightly different possibilities, because I don't want to spend too much time going through all the different animations here. To defend against these, it's just like normal takedown defense. Hold the back two triggers and you'll deny the takedown. Finally, I want to show you some of the trips and throws you can do. These are low-key just fancy takedowns that look cooler to be honest, and some of them are going to put you in more dominant starting positions on the ground. So in any clinch position, holding R1 and then pressing either circle or X is going to hit a trip or a throw. And you can see some of the different examples here on screen, but this is another one where I recommend you just experiment with them for yourself in the training arena to see what the different possibilities are. And then these are defended like all other takedowns, hold the back two triggers. 
That's all for this video. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more UFC 5 tutorials.